Hello again. We're going to spend a little bit of time talking about emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the body of science that tells us that we're far more creatures of emotion than we are creatures of logic. In fact, the body of science of emotional intelligence says that 80% of our decisions, choices, things that come out of our mouths are emotionally driven. Now that number is going to strike many of you as kind of a high number, but when you consider it and step back and think about it for a moment, that's very, very accurate. Some of you, by your wiring and by your very nature of your personality, that number, that 80% number, is going to be a bit higher. Some of you, again, by your wiring and personality, that number is going to be a bit lower. Emotional intelligence is really divided into two separate but very co-equal branches. The first branch of emotional intelligence is about self-management and self-awareness, understanding who you are and then managing who you are. That's all done from the perspective of your emotional drivers, your emotional composition, and your emotional wiring. The second side of the emotional intelligence science piece is about social projection, how you interact with others, how you communicate, how you work with others, and even how you project your image is part of those social competencies of emotional intelligence. Now, from our perspective, emotional intelligence is an extremely important predictor of workplace success that is even more true in leadership roles. Leaders with high levels of emotional intelligence are going to be far more effective than those leaders without emotional intelligence or with emotional intelligence challenges. Uh, one other thing I want to make very clear early on is good emotional intelligence is not the absence of emotion. It really is about understanding your emotion and using those emotions to drive some of your key leadership behaviors. 